Hi everybody, we're here at the 16th hole in St. Anne's Golf Club, one of my favourite holes. There's multiple ones, but this is definitely one of them on the inward run. This hole gives you multiple choices, rough up the right, rough up the left, and two bunkers on the left as well. And it basically kind of suits a fade. Today it's a little bit downwind, it gives you multiple choices of shots. So you can use an iron off the tee, rescue, fair water, dryer, it just depends what angle you want. And that's a good design of a hole, it actually gives you options and it actually gives you uh, visual aids to actually allow you to play those shots. So what I'm going to do is hit my Strix and 3 wood, I'm going to hit it down the fairway and then we're going to move on and see how we get on. And here we go, so I'm going to aim at the last bunker on the fairway, that's about 296. Carries about 200 over the rough. And uh, I know then a little bit of run out and it won't get into trouble from that position. And so straight at it. So I carry my three wood about 242. And today the run out is going to be very close, about 270. So it was a pretty good go. Okay, so uh, we're going to move on now. So it's my carry. Going back towards the uh, tee box to get over this roof here was around 200 based on the line I wanted to hit for the bunker on the right hand side. And it really is just choosing the club you're comfortable hitting, then executing the shot through your routine. But as I say, as holes go, well designed hole, it gives me loads of options. Ground's firming up now, so I'm pretty close to this bunker. And looking at this, the run out was quite a lot. So I actually absolutely hit that really well. So my run out has got me about 290-ish, very close to the bunker. So as the summer goes on, uh, the ground firms up, it changes how everything is. Next shot is into a green, two-tiered green. Uh, flat, the higher tier is on the front and lower tier is on the back. So the key is here is to hit it to the middle of the green. And from here, I'm going to give you a yardage now, give you an idea. So I'm just going to go behind and get ourselves set up for this next shot. Now, so I'm just going to place it here and then hopefully you can see us. So we're going that direction there. I've got ball slightly above my feet takes a bit right to left. I'm just going to get a yardage now, so I'll just move the trolley slightly this way. Wind still behind me. So to the pin, it's 111. I know the bunker on the left is middle of the green at the top of it, so it's 92. So 92 is the number I feel I want to hit. So for me, I'm just going to hit a soft sand wedge. I don't want it to come up short because I know it's going to draw off this lie. I'm going to aim to the right side, right of center of the fairway. My normal swing, nice easy movement. My sand wedge is my 110 club. Just nice easy movement, I should draw off this lie. So we'll see what happens when I get there. Oh, you can't see me there, sorry. That way a bit more. Pick right because of the slope, ball above my feet, wind helping. Middle of the green is my distance and let the slopes take it towards the pin. So perfect strike. Now see if the numbers are right. Yep, caught the slope. Actually, I think I might have hit it a bit too far. Yep, carried it. So semi rough, got a bit of a flyer, but you'll see it when I get up there what I'm talking about. So we're gonna wander up and uh, see what we have up here. So I'm gonna show you. The undulations, you'll see it with the trolley, it goes down, back up. And they're the type of fairways on this side of the golf course. Back nine. Greens are unbelievable condition. Bunkers perfect. Fairways are unreal, especially with the amount of play we have. A lot of members playing, which is great. And I'm just going to walk you up to here so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Bunker on the right. Bunker on the left is where the ridge is. So I'm just going to walk to the left of that so because no trolleys allowed beyond those white lines there or buggies. So just protect all the surfaces, surfaces around the greens. 
looks like I wasn't far off what I wanted to do. So there's the bunker. And there's the slope right in the middle, right there where I'm stopping. So going back down, flat, middle, and then it goes down and up again. So it's, you get your yardages right, the green's helping you. There is a feed off here to the left which makes it interesting. I'm left with a simple putt and we're going to have to see what it is. Yeah. Let me check to see if I left a pitch mark. I don't think it would have because green, green is a firm. But let's have a look. And I'll take you back to this hole again. Yeah. Put it back on the trolley. Here's my ball. So I'm going to have a look. See if I got a pitch mark. Ooh. There we go. So it landed well onto the green actually. Yep, I did. Right here. So for me, down slope, right to left, up and around again. So it's quite a lot of movement on this foot. So what happens? I get a feel for it. Always look from behind anyway. I'm gonna aim right and then let the ground do the work. And if I got the pace right, everything should be hunky dory. Maybe a bit hard, yeah, it's gonna go beyond. So not a bad putt. But anyway, I'm not gonna let you see if I hold that. This is 16th hole. Uh, it is one of my favorite holes on the golf course. Uh, you don't have to be long, you just have to be smart. You do have to hit a golf shot and you've got to think, as you say, smartly around the hole and how to play it. You need to know your yardages. But again, it's a great golf course for every level of golfer. So we'll speak to you soon. My name is William Noble, I'm the club professional at St. Anne's Golf Club. Good speaking to you.